This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Gunman shot by cronies among three killed in Norwood attack. A gunman shot by his cronies is among the three people killed in a late morning attack in the zone of special operation on Warika Drive in Norwood, St. James. Five others, including a 13-year-old girl, were injured when a stray bullet pierced a window to her house and struck her as she prepared for church. She remains at a hospital in critical condition. The police say it appears that the cronies of the dead gunman took his weapon before they escaped. This morning's incident makes for the number of murders in the zone of special operations in a matter of hours. Last night, a man was also killed. The police believe that this morning's attack was a reprisal. The murdered attacker has not yet been identified. The others killed have been identified as Damian Mento, 22, and Leroy Martin, 25, both of Warica Drive. The police say about 10.15 a.m., men armed with high-powered weapons entered the community of Warica Drive in Norwood and opened fire on persons walking along the roadway. During the shooting, Martin was chased and shot to death by the armed men. Minto, who was also shot, was rushed to the Conwell Regional Hospital where he succumbed. Investigators have found more than 50 spent shells. St. Andrew South Police list 13 persons of interest. The St. Andrew South Police have listed 13 men as persons of interest. The police believe these persons can assist with ongoing investigations into recent incidents in the division. They are Courtney Ashley, 37, otherwise called the Biggs, of Abbey Close in Leosa Flat, Red Hill, St. Andrew. Angchard Anglin, 37, otherwise called the Anchi, of Denver Crescent, Kingston, 20. Richard Anglin, 27, otherwise called Ho Ho, of Denver Crescent, Kingston, 20. Curtis Eldemar, 22, otherwise called Mosey, of Dorian Avenue, Kingston, 20. Men known only by their aliases, Alex of Akiwalk in Kingston, Rookie of Fenbrook Avenue and Akiwalk in Kingston 20, Sheldon of Grenmead Top Marvelly in St. Andrew, Little of Marvelly St. Andrew, Sadiki of Marvelly St. Andrew, Portal Freighter of Marvelly St. Andrew, Biggie of Marvelly St. Andrew, Peddy or Nash of Marvelly St. Andrew and Becky. These persons are asked to immediately make contact with detectives at the Hunts Bay Criminal Investigation Branch. Anyone knowing their whereabouts is asked to call the Hunts Bay Police at 876-923-7110, Police 119 Emergency Number, Crime Stop at 311, or the nearest police station. Construction worker killed in St. Mary hit and run crash. 28-year-old Akeem Daly, a construction worker of Red Hills, St. Andrew, has been killed in a reported hit-and-run crash along the Rio Nuevo main road in St. Mary. The police say about 1.15 a.m., Daly was walking along the roadway when he was hit by a motor vehicle. The driver did not stop. Daly received several injuries and was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigators are appealing to the driver of the motor vehicle to immediately turn himself into the Aracabesa police. Anyone with information who can assist investigators is asked to call the Area 2 headquarters at 876-975-4196, Police 119 number, or the nearest police station. Cold front to bring showers across Jamaica starting Sunday. The Meteorological Service Jamaica says a cold front currently across western Cuba is expected to move across Jamaica on Sunday. The forecast is for cloudy conditions with periods of showers which could be heavy at times, affecting mainly northern and southeastern parishes from Sunday through to Wednesday morning. According to the Met Service, satellite imagery indicates a large area of clouds associated with the system with showers and thunderstorms across the Western Caribbean into the Yucatan Peninsula. Additionally, cooler than normal temperatures and the periods of gusty winds are expected mainly across northern parishes beginning on Sunday. Fishers and other marine interests, especially on the north coast, should exercise caution as sea conditions will deteriorate in the vicinity of showers, thunderstorms, and the strong gusty winds. 
The Meteorological Service says it will continue to monitor this system. Police investigating Saint Anne fire, which claimed one victim. Investigators in Saint Anne are now probing the circumstances surrounding a fire that claimed the life of a man in Old Folly Discovery Bay on Friday. Dead is Andrew Earl, otherwise called Kevin, of Jack's Lodge District in the community. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m., residents saw smoke and a fire at the premises and alerted the police and the fire department. During the cooling down operation, Earl's charred remains were seen among the debris. The police said the scene was processed and the body was removed to the morgue. Spanish Town Hospital to be expanded Ground is to be broken this year for major expansion works at the Spanish Town Hospital in St. Catherine. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says the design have been completed and his ministry will be going to market for the procurement process to select a contractor. Dr. Tufton says there will be temporary relocations as the facility prepares for the $3.5 billion expansion project. The hospital upgrade will include a new building encompassing a six-story modern facility. There will be several points of access for staff and the patients, including a basement a car park and a skywalk to link existing wards. The Spanish Town Hospital was built in 1952 with a bed capacity of 200. It currently accommodates more than 400 inpatients. Knight says royal family should fund education in Jamaica. Queen's Council KD Knight is suggesting that the royal family take on the responsibility of funding a tertiary education. For a specified number of years, the financial responsibility for educating our people in this country should be on their shoulders because it was they who kept us in bondage, Knight told the news earlier this week. He was among scores of Jamaicans gathered outside the British High Commission in St. Andrew on Tuesday, protesting the visit of the Duke and the Duchess of Cambridge to the island. I am out here to show my solidarity with my fellow Jamaicans who have, over the years, suffered because of the treatment meted out to us. We are a great race. No other race could possibly suffer the kind of persecution that we suffered and reach where we are today without their help. Even after the abolition of slavery, they continued to plunder our resources and to enrich their society, the veteran attorney and the former cabinet minister said. Prince William and wife Catherine were in Jamaica for three days. They are now in the Bahamas for the final of three-nation tour, which also included Belize. Businessman and the chef charged after U.S. $700,000 ganja seizure. A Saint Anne businessman was one of two people charged following the seizure of U.S. $700,000 worth of ganja in Trelawney on Wednesday. O'Neill Gordon, 32, from Runaway Bay, was charged along with a 42-year-old Junior Robinson, a chef from Exchange, also in the parish, after they were found in possession of a larger quantity of the drugs. Both men were charged with dealing in trafficking conspiracy and the taking steps preparatory to exporting ganja. Police say they are to appear before the Trelawney Parish Court on March 30, 2022. It is reported that about 4 p.m. on Wednesday, the Trelawney police were conducting an operation along the Kerry Park Main Road when they intercepted a green Toyota Yaris motorcar with the two men. During a subsequent search of the vehicle, Ganja weighing approximately 200 pounds was found on the back seat. Detectives from the Narcotics Division were summoned, the car with the drugs was seized, and the men were arrested on reasonable suspicion for breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act. Following investigations and the subsequent interviews conducted with the men in the presence of their attorneys on Thursday, they were charged. Two guns and a ballistic vest seized in St. James the St. James Police seized two firearms, including an M4 rifle, during an operation in Granville in the parish on Friday. Reports are that about 6 a.m., lawmen were in the area when a premises was searched and the rifle, along with a 9mm pistol, 34 assorted rounds of ammunition, and a ballistic vest were found. No one was arrested, however, the police said the investigation continues.
National Drought Management Committee to convene, says Samuda. Minister without portfolio in the Economic Growth and the Job Creation Ministry, Matthew Samuda, says while Jamaica is not currently experiencing a drought, the government is concerned about the decline in rainfall. Speaking yesterday in the Senate, Mr. Samuda said there have been reductions of between 10 and 30 percent in rainfall across the various parishes over the past 60 days. He said the Meteorological Service has projected that there is a 35 percent risk that this could continue over the next 90 days and could become a drought. Mr. Samuda said the National Drought Management Committee is being convened just in case. We are monitoring the systems very closely. We are not in drought, but the decline in rainfall is a concern, so we will manage it very carefully. The Hermitage system is just under 70 percent, and the Mona system is just under 80. But to be preemptive, I have gotten permission from the Prime Minister to convene the National Drought Management Committee to start planning should the weather trends continue, Samuda said. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.